We can use the grid control to alter or arrange the display of rows and columns in either a grid-like format or a fixed uh, matrix-like format for the fixed uh, control. But today is an easy video because it's the last day of 30 days of AL programming. Just looking at the display, this is an item uh, grid page <laughs> using the grid control that I've created. And we'll look at the code in a few and uh, we'll simply just highlight um, the pointers and how to display it. So this is how it has been displayed because ideally we could have rows and columns on like the number could be here, then the description on the, uh, no, the, the number description department and then maybe these two could be on this other side and this group could be displayed uh, as a, f a tab right below this item details because this is a group and this is a group and this is the main group so we have the general under the general so these are nested groups but um, they've been nested inside the general group but now we are using now the grid to alter how they will be displayed inside the nested group at times you might need to use such controls when you need to really control how the information is displayed uh, in the system maybe you'd like to do a comparison between if the, f the user is filling in details they'd like to see some fields on the left and others on the right then that could be a case that you can consider but ideally it's so easy it's just a matter of nesting the group having a group inside a group because the grid le uh, control is usually um, within a group so we have uh, for this case, we only have one grid control here. And it has got two groups. So the two groups are inside the grid. And uh, that's why they are displayed one on the left and the other on the right. So this is a simple way of having to create the grid layout. So uh, you don't really want to go really deep into display and um, the formatting of how your page should be displayed because I know there are different requirements might require a very different display for your case but at least we should know that this uh, ability exists to be able to alter or to really control into detail how our uh, page will be displayed so i'll share a link for more details if you'd like to really look more into it and how to you can be able to get into the grid format so we did it we have done 30 days 30 videos i hope you enjoyed the series for those who watched a few videos for the 30 days of l programming the next video official video i don't mean that there might be other videos but we'll be releasing next videos in 2024 so you're taking a break for the channel for the month of december and uh, we'll try and see what we can be able to do uh, in preparation for January. So I think the next video will be in January tentatively, but at the moment, I hope you enjoyed 30 days of AL programming. See you in January. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one.